we're going to bring together what you've already learned, linear perspective, circular perspective, and we're going to add into the equation scale and proportion. So, I'd like you to have a look around, find yourself one or two objects like this, aerosol can, a bottle, a couple of boxes, put them together on a tray, put them about six feet away from you on a table, sit down and have a go. And then, when you come back, we'll move on and I'll explain how to set about the next stage. I always start with looking for the height to width proportion of the entire group. And this is where we introduce the idea of measuring using your pencil. So, always do it at locked arm's length. That's an important point. If you do it here and then you do it a second time and you've moved a little, you're going to get problems of different proportions. So always do it at locked arm's length. Hold the pencil in such a way that you can move your thumb up and down so that you're giving yourself uh, a ruler, basically. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the objects, the group, and I'm going to make a measurement from the two extremes of right to left. And that gives me a measurement. I'm going to take that measurement and I'm going to set it against the height and work out what the height is relative to the width. And I would say that the height is about a fifth greater. Now, we're going to use fractions in the sense, but it's basically, it's a space, it's something, it's, it's a distance that you need to see. It isn't a mathematical equation. I'm saying a fifth so in order to give it a title, but it's, it's one and a bit, if you like. The next point here is that this is a curved side on the bottle, so we need to find the middle now of the side to get the, the top of the curve. This is the same point again as the point of the gable end of the wall was in the middle. All these things, church windows, you get the same thing. You must get the, the, the top of the rise of the curve in the middle, so that will curve over there and come down that side in the middle there. Now we can join that up because that will go to there. Again, the shoulder of this, if you just sort of imagine it with a bit of a guideline there, this is going to come down there like that and then join up from the side here. This is reflecting this one coming across in this direction here. And then we can put the ellipses on here by putting in the bottom side like that and an ellipse on the top like that. Now I'm going to further this idea with um, a diagram I have here. Now, this is a church tower, and very often I see this uh, mistake made, that the church spire is put in the middle of the tower, sort of the middle of the wall, instead of the middle of the entire tower. It works like this. If it's a square tower, and this is a plan view looking straight down on top of it, and you have the circle of the spire. If you are standing here, right in the middle, then you are seeing the wall absolutely straight on. So you are in the middle, and the, the centre of the spire is in the middle of the tower. But if you're standing here, then the angle you're seeing is across from here to here. And you this, then, the centre is not exactly in the middle, it's to one side. And if you're standing here, the main thing here is to remember that you're not measuring from here to here, the one side, you're measuring from here to here. It's the distance across between these two extremes of the tower is where the centre is. This distance here is equal to this distance here. There, equal to there. <laughs>